Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Kramer, Set Image Tutorials, and today we're going to continue with uh, part four of our tutorial, how to model a kitchen. Okay. Now, before we move forward, we're going to um, address a couple of cosmetic issues. Okay. Now, one of them is this little thing up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit four for wireframe mode. We're going to select. Oh, we're going to select this guy here we're gonna hit control D hit 5 for shaded mode again hit W we're gonna pull that up obviously not through our top and then we're going to uh, move that forward now it's important that you are in uh, object uh, mode and not in world mode and I'll show you what I mean if you uh, double click on your move tool you've got object orientation and world orientation world will change your move direction for this I need my object okay so I'm gonna pull that forward just a bit not too much okay that's good and I need to address these here so looks like we need to go down just a little bit and move that okay right then we are going to right click object mode we're going to select this and this and of course we're going to miss that one do that first right click assign new material actually assign existing material Lambert 7 which will give us the right color and we need to select that and trying to get that one there we go and existing material and also Lambert 7 okay now we need to deal with our oven because the frame for the oven is red as well so we're going to select our grip our glass door we're going to go to mesh and combine which will allow us to pull that out and then we're going to take the frame of the oven right click assign existing material and Lambert 7 and we've got one up here object mode we've got that guy Existing material Lambert 7. There we go. Now one down here. Sorry. Assisting material and 7. That should. Okay, I've got one down here. As you can see, that guy and that guy. Existing material and 7. Okay. All right. So we can now select our door and we can push that back in. Hit F to zoom in and make sure that we are good. Yeah, it looks fine. All right. Okay, so now there are tons of other things that we can do. We can do curtains, we can do tiles, we can do a lot of stuff. Uh, right now I want to focus on lighting. So for that, we've got this set up. I'm going to take my uh, ceiling and so forth and get things back into place. So for that, we are going to make sure that we're in contact. That looks good. Okay. We're going to take that guy. We're going to move that one in a bit more like that. And we are going to take that one and we're going to move that one in. Hit F to zoom in. Okay, so it's boxed in. Now we're going to go to View Bookmarks and Kitchen, which will allow us to see our kitchen. And we're going to do a quick render. Okay. So we've got a sense of what we need to do as far as lighting is concerned and so forth. Okay. So we'll give that a sec.
All right, that's what we've got so far. So what I'll do is, um, dip, 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 dip. I'll just keep this image. All right, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to my spotlight here and uh, go to spotlight shape. I'm going to go to shadows, I'm going to deselect that map shadows, and I'm going to go to use ray trace shadows. Now I want the shadow rays to be at 4 and the ray depth limit at 12. Okay, uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to do here? Um, just quickly check. Okay. No, okay, I think we're good there. All right, so we got that. Then we're gonna go to our render settings and we are going to check our settings here. Um, okay, we're going to select global illumination, final gathering. We're gonna go to, uh, let me see, ray tracing, that's selected. We're going to double these values, so 8 by 8 by 12. That's good for now. And okay, next we are going to go back to our bookmark, kitchen. We're going to select our uh, point light inside, so Windows, Outliner. Uh, where are we at? Point light, and there we go. And we are going to move that a bit. I'll hit 7 on my keyboard so I can see what's going on with that. And as you can see, it's pretty intense. So we're going to dial it down a bit. Something like that. Okay. Let's say 0 0.5. We're going to create an um, uh, ambient light. And that is very, very bright, as you can see. We're going to push that out a little bit. And the ambient light, we're going to pull that intensity way down to about 0 0.1. Okay. So we got that. And we are going to go to our, uh, let me see, our point light. That's that guy. And we are going to make sure that our shadow settings there are correct as well. And they should be. Yeah, okay. And we're going to give this another quick render, all right? And already you can see it's starting to look a little bit warmer. Um, Not too much reflection going on, so I would like to add a little bit more lighting. Um, and I think I'm going to start by tweaking the intensity a little bit. And we're going to create some light behind that window. Okay. All right. So I'll just give this a sec. It takes a bit longer because of the uh, ray trace settings that we tweaked. So, uh, okay, get rid of that one. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to go back to my render settings and I'm going to go to indirect lighting. Create physical sun and sky, which will give me a lot more light back here. And I need to get that light a bit higher. So, Windows, Outliner. Uh, I'm looking for my point light. I want that to move. I need to change my orientation to world, that's better. Okay, so that is pretty close to the ceiling. We're going to go back to view bookmark. There we go. 
that is pretty high up. Um, I think we are very close to the final render, so that's what I want to do right now. So I'm going to go back to my render settings. Okay, we got, um, let's see, we got this going on. Our quality, we're going to increase that a little bit. Let's say 1.25. Uh, in my common tab, I'm going to increase the size of the image to HD 1080. And we're going to give this a render. I'm just going to pause the video so you guys don't have to wait for that. And I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay. Okay, guys, the render is done. Um, as far as this modeling tutorial is concerned, uh, this is uh, pretty much the final image. Now, I'm probably going to spend the next two hours or so to be at this point in time, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Happy to help, and see you guys next time. Thank you.